Hi, I'm Ms. Lavodi, and in this lesson, I'll be showing you how to combine a digital portrait with a skull drawing. This is the final sample image for a Day of the Dead inspired self-portrait project that I like to do with my students. This tutorial will show you how to do part one, which is combining the skull, skeleton torso, and digital self-portrait. The apps that we use for iPad for this project are Pixlr, Prisma, the Photos app for iPad, Tayasui Sketches Pro, Anatomy, 3D Atlas, and Medibang Paint. Before you begin, you should have already on your iPad saved a digitally manipulated self-portrait, a photograph of an anatomical skull drawing that you've done that's fully shaded in. I would recommend changing this photo into black and white and utilize a filter. Um, and then you should also have a screenshot of the neck rib cage area from the Anatomy 3D Atlas app for iPad. Like I mentioned earlier, through this tutorial, we're going to combine together our digital portrait, skull drawing, and skeleton torso screenshot into one image that looks something like this. You should already have a skull drawing completed, so photograph it in good lighting and straight on, no wacky angles. On your photo app, use a black and white filter and crop out extra white space around the drawing. Then you'll be ready to open up Medibang Paint and create a new letter size canvas. This is my skeleton drawing of the skull. I'm editing it in the Photos app, just selecting a black and white filter and making sure I have it cropped. From here, I'm going to open the Medibang Paint app on iPad and create a new canvas, preferably letter size, which is roughly eight and a half by 10.98 inches. This is my format for Medibank Paint. I'm selecting new canvas. You can see the width and height here, read 8.5 by 10.98. And I'm ready to create my new canvas. I like to pinch in the screen so I can see the entire workspace. In the layers area, I click the plus sign and select image to add. I'm going to access my photos so I can select my digital self-portrait. In this screen, Medibank Paint will only let you scale it a little bit. Do not extract the line art. We're going to use the transform tool. It's on the top menu bar and it looks like a box with an arrow coming out of the corners. If you click it, it'll bring you to a screen where you can enlarge your, your image by dragging out the corner. And you can also rotate images by placing your finger in the gray area and just kind of rotating the screen. You're going to add your skull drawing on a new layer as well. So same thing, you're going to click the plus sign and select an image to add, this time finding your skull drawing. From here, you're going to scale it up so it's roughly the same size as your portrait. And you can always place this a uh, little bit more exactly later using the transform tool. So once you have it roughly the size you think you need it to be, you can click done and move on to the next uh, screen here. We're not going to extract line art for this image either. As you can see, it's already imported transparently, which is okay. That's fine that that happened. Um, I'm using the transform tool again to adjust the skull and slightly rotate it. Again, rotating is just taking your finger and dragging, dragging in the gray area. Now that we have our two layers to work with, we're going to select the brush tool and in the brush option box, find the soft eraser brush tool. You will use this to erase away parts of the drawing and parts of the digital self portrait so we can combine them together to make one image. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm zooming in a little so I could see. I'm going to decide which side of the self-portrait do I want to keep and which side do I want to be the skeleton. Um, so I'm using that soft eraser brush tool and I'm first erasing into the skeleton layer to reveal the side of my portrait that I would like to be visible.
Now I've selected the self-portrait layer and I'm going to also erase into that layer as well. I'm going to erase away from behind the skeleton drawing so that way I could see the white background. I'm getting rid of the entire background around the skull drawing. I'm getting rid of the entire background around my hair and around my shoulder and body on the skeleton side. This is your reminder to save your project if you haven't been doing so, definitely save. In this part of the video, we'll be adding the skeleton torso to the digital portrait and skull drawing. You're going to open the Anatomy 3D Atlas app for iPad and take a screenshot of the skeleton torso to use in this project. Once you open the app, you're going to scroll down to where you see the skeleton trunk in under the musculoskeletal system. And from here, you're going to zoom in to the neck, collarbone, rib cage area and take a screenshot of this image. When you go into the Photos app, you're going to crop out the unwanted parts of this image. And we're going to also turn it into a black and white image using the photo app filters. So I'm cropping out those extra items on the side there. So I just have the rib cage in a black background. Now we're going to open up the Prisma app so we can stylize the skeleton. You're going to select a filter that makes the skeleton look more like a drawing or painting while it's still in a black and gray format. Prisma app has a lot of great preset options to choose from that are very artistic. So once you decide on a filter that you like for this, I tested out one filter, I'm gonna try out another one. I like this one a little better. I'm going to save this so it is in my camera roll. So now we're going to go back into Medibang Paint and import our newly filtered skeleton torso into our existing canvas. We're going to scale it so it matches the proportion of your skull portrait combination. So in the layers area, once again, click that plus sign and select image to add. So what I'm doing here is going to try to scale up uh, as best as I can the torso so it matches the size and proportion of the picture I already have on here. I don't want to make it too big where it looks too large and I don't want to make it too small for the size skull that I have here. So we're not going to extract the line art. I am moving this layer underneath my other two images so it can be all the way in the background for now. And I'm going to use the transform tool to scale, rotate, and make adjustments to this if I need to. Um, in my picture, my body is straight on, but my head is tilted. So I don't really need to rotate my rib cage torso picture too much. In the layers box where it says normal, we're going to click that. And you're going to select the word difference. This is going to make an inverted picture of your skeleton. So now the background will be white and the bones will be look like they're shaded and darker. So now we're going to use the soft eraser, eraser brush tool again. This time we're going to erase away the white background from the outside of the skeleton torso. You don't need to worry about erasing in between all of the bones in the rib cage. So I'm taking that brush tool and I'm just erasing into the spaces that I want to delete away. I don't want this space to block my 
future background drawing. So that's why I want to erase away this yellowish area that's still showing up behind the rib cage. I'm also going to erase the bottom part so it lines up with my self-portrait picture and just clean up any edges that I need to. Okay, last thing that we need to do is save this image to our device. You're going to click the three lines in the top left corner of Medibank Paint for the drop down menu. From there, you're going to click export as JPEG or PNG and we're going to save it as PNG in parentheses transparent. We want your background to be transparent, not solid, so make sure you save this correctly. We're going to finish this project in the Taisui Sketches app. So I'm saving it, save image, saved as transparent. Now it's in my photo roll, ready to go.